Hey, how you doing? This is Vito from up here in Lovell, Wyoming. You are tuned to Trucker Josh and his partner in crime, Diesel. Be sure to enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. everybody. How you doing? How you doing? We're uh, here in, uh, where are we? In Iowa somewhere. Let me check for you. I should have checked this before I started talking to you, I guess. But this is more fun. I'm looking at Google right now. We're in Ottawa. I knew that. Ottawa, Iowa. Really? They named it Ottawa, Iowa? Where are you from? Ottawa, Iowa. Ottawa, Iowa, Ottawa, Iowa, Ottawa, Iowa, Ottawa, Iowa, Ottawa, Iowa. Say that 10 times as fast as you can. All right, we've done our pre-trip. We have walked the weasel. Our dash camera is recording. It was recording all night, but it's definitely recording now. I always want to make sure that that's recording. Just in case if any of these drivers out here pull anything sneaky on me, got you on camera 24-7. Let's figure out how to get out of here. I'm gonna go about a half hour up the road and stop at Pilot and get my coffee there because I am addicted to their new coffee that they have, that uh, the, the fresh coffee. What, what, what do you even call those coffee makers? It's not like a regular coffee, it makes it fresh. Like as fresh as you can possibly get. It's got all the beans on top of the machine, right? The fresh beans. And then you select what you want on this little touch screen and it grinds the beans right there in front of you and then mixes it, whatever, and then gives you a fresh coffee like as fresh as you can possibly it's so good i get the organic colombian usually that's that's been my favorite coffee lately and recently so good so good i will i will go the extra mile just to get there to get that coffee and they're not even like paying me to talk about it. i just like it that much okay signal buddy blinker don't look at me like that was my fault you didn't use your signal. Just about drove out in front of you. Don't start my day off like that. I'm gonna have a good day. Still looking at me like it was my fault. Turn left on, Childert Avenue and then turn right in 30 meters. This is gonna be a good day. I'm gonna make it a good day. Today is a good day for a good day be a good day. Let's get on the freeway here. Now let's get down the road. Let's get our coffee because that's going to really kick start my day.
coffee time. It's coffee time. I missed my turn. I had to turn around and come back. That's how much I want this coffee. <laughs> Takes quite a bit for me to turn around if I miss a turn. Usually I just go on to the next one. Unless if it's, you know, something important. But I'm going to park right here. Oh, that's reserve parking for who? Reserve parking. I didn't see that sign before. Well, fine then. Fine. I'm not special enough for you. Reserve parking. Somewhere I can just park like in front of the pumps, maybe? I just want a coffee. Oh. You know what? You know what? Why don't we just fill up? Why don't we just fill up our tanks? I was gonna do this in Sioux Falls, but eh, why don't we just do it here right now? This guy's almost done. May as well. Perfect, I picked the right lane too. That didn't take long at all. I usually pick the lane that takes the longest for some reason. All right, we'll fuel everything up here. We gotta put some fuel conditioner into our fuel because we're going down into temperatures that are gonna be minus 26 tomorrow or tonight. And uh, with the wind chill flying down the highway, that's going to make it a lot colder than minus 26. So we're gonna put some uh, power service in our fuel. I'm not risking it. We're about to exit here at exit 207. Take US 12 Aberdeen and then turn left at 340 meters. I just told him that. Exit 207 here in South Dakota. Uh, looks like there's a coffee time truck stop here. I've stopped here a couple, couple of times. I'm gonna go get a coffee at the coffee time. And then we're headed off through the scenic route, straight west of here. We're gonna be going straight into a very strong wind coming out of the west. So that'll be fun. I'm trying to save fuel all day, but uh, Mother Nature has other plans for me. Take US 12 Aberdeen and then turn left at 340 meters. Well, Karen, first we're gonna turn right and go get a coffee, because I'm gonna need a coffee to deal with all this wind. We're about halfway through our day. Oh, a little less than that. We got uh, six, six hours, 22 minutes left on our driving clock. I've already stopped for my half hour break. So this is just gonna be a quick two hundred and out. Meters, turn left on US 12. Karen, I'm about to make you a very angry woman. I'm about to turn right. Go ahead, tell me I never listen. I don't care, I'm getting a coffee. I heard you, but I'm, I'm still not gonna listen. Here we go, you guys will probably remember this place. Remember it used to be a gravel parking lot and then they paved it in like the last year or so. They got a little dog run here off on the left. If you uh, wanna go running through some snow banks, got plenty of those here. Looks like there's like three feet of snow inside that dog run. Dogs can just run up the snow bank and jump over the fence. Yeah, we suddenly hit a lot of snow. Uh, it happened in the last hour or so. There was no snow down in Iowa. But once we hit South Dakota, suddenly it got a little more interesting, a little more fun. And uh, we still got a long ways to go up. We got to go up through North Dakota. Got to go into Saskatchewan and into Alberta yet. I'm not really going to go too far. I might go up to Minot tonight. That's where I'm trying to get to. Uh, but that's still about six hours away, and I only got six hours left on my clock. I don't know if I'm gonna make it there. We're going through some back country, so it's gonna be a stop and go in small towns. I'm gonna make a little bit of a scenic route. We got the time. And then I think I'm gonna stop in Calgary and go to the Chinook Mall to do my Christmas shopping. That's, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I mean, we'll see what happens. Unless I find another one on the way up, but that's... I haven't been to that mall in so long. And I sort of just want to go somewhere where I can just wander around indoors for a couple of hours. And relax while I do my shopping. Because I really hate shopping. I really do. I want to make it as enjoyable and pleasant as possible. Right in here. This is my spot. As close as I can get to the door. I know, I know. Trucker Josh is lazy. No, I just don't like the cold. But you're Canadian, Trucker Josh. I know. Still don't like the cold. That is not a required thing to be Canadian. We're just rolling into Carrington. I've uh, 
heard your comments, or I've read them actually, but I heard them when I said them out loud to myself. I, uh... Oh! Oh! I thought they fixed that! This was all under construction this summer. I guess it broke again. You're wondering why uh, my lights aren't very bright. A lot of you have been saying, you gotta get different lights so we can see. Well, it's not exactly my lights that are bad, it's YouTube, the way they process the video. Because my, I have a GoPro Hero 7 Black, it picks up pretty good low light situations. And when I'm editing the footage, I can see the road just fine. But for some reason, when I upload it onto YouTube and they process it, it darkens the image and the video quite a bit. So everything is darker when you see it than when I film it, which is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. It's YouTube, I guess, eh? Here's the Chieftain Motel. There's our friend. There's our chief friend waving at us. Hey, bud. How you doing? He's sitting there. You know, if I stand there like that, it means something totally different, but... We're gonna stop here at the at the Carrington truck stop. I don't want to stop here for night yet. I want to go all the way to Minot. At the roundabout, take the third exit at one kilometer. Yeah, 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 Karen. I know. First, first, we're gonna grab a coffee here. Coffee number three today. Usually, I only have two per day. We're gonna have three today because we're feeling hardcore. And we're gonna go all the way to Minot, North Dakota, and fuel up for the night because it's a little cold, as you can see outside. I uh, I want to have full tanks when I go to bed, and then we'll start from there in the morning. We have 14 minutes left on our 11 hours of driving today. And we're pulling into the flying hook. I'm gonna fuel up tonight so that I have full tanks because it is minus 20 outside again. I don't even wanna know what the wind chill is. So uh, I believe Minot here sells diesel number one as well, which is winter diesel. Grab me some of that. Put some fuel conditioner into my fuel to make double sure it's not going to freeze up on me. ourselves a place to park and call it a night. I hope there's room here. If not, I'm making room. Well, we got 13 minutes left now. Right? Right? You have zero hours and 13 minutes of remaining drive time. Yep, that's what I thought. 